Welcome guys to the dog breeding, dog dropshipping business course. My name is Jerry Ayebi and I'm a certified practicing veterinary doctor, um, dog business um, expert and dog dropshipping expert. So welcome guys once more and congratulations for keying in into this um, business model. Okay, your life is about to take a total turnaround and I pledge you to take advantage of this course and actually put it in practice so that you can start making money for yourself all right so in this course model we're going to be going through three different classes the basic the intermediate and the advanced okay after this course you can use everything you've learned in this course to start earning 500k monthly 300,000 naira a monthly 200,000 naira monthly and what have you okay you can even learn earn up to a million naira monthly depending on how you do it depending on how you put to practice everything i will be teaching you in this course now the basic class consists of four things the first i'm going to be talking about what drop shipping actually means okay so that you can have a glimpse and a full picture of what drop shipping is in general then i'm going to dive into why we breed dogs and why we drop ship dogs what is the essence what's the feasibility what's the profitability of this business of dog drop shipping business also okay i'm also going to tell you how to make money in dog breeding business okay there are strategies and ways and things to do and not to do to actually make money and make this business model work and that is when I'm, I'll be I'll be revealing the million dollar strategy all right then the intermediate class will consist of um, first firstly I'll be revealing the top breeds of dogs you need to start selling now okay there are particular breeds of dogs you need to start that will, you, you need to start selling that will give you sales that will give you clients that will convert um, clients quickly for you also I will tell you how to source for cheap dogs online and even offline okay I also be showing you what to check before drop shipping a dog there are some documentation some physical attributes and some other things you need to check mates before you drop ship a dog for a customer okay so that you don't run into issues and problems at the end of the day all right then the advanced class I will start by telling you what kenneling is how to set up your own kennel okay and also the basic dog medication just the basic if you need the advanced i'll also do that as a bonus for you then also the nutrition how to compound your own dog feed you might not need to start buying dog and, and dog feed expensive dog feed and what have you then I'll, I'll show you how to compound your own dog feed from your home all right i'll also tell you the basic um, um nutrition requirement for dogs all right then i'll also show you and tell you mating I, I'll, I'll tell you what mating entails how to do it properly to get results i also talk about pregnancy how to maintain pregnancy how to prevent um abortion in dogs and also puppy health how to prevent loss of your puppies after they are delivered i also dive in into diseases treatment and prevention very very important one of the um, big setbacks in the dog breeding business all right so this course contains two parts basically and um, broadly the dog breeding and the dog drop shipping now the dog breeding is for those who actually want to own a kennel they want to actually start keeping dogs at home or you know setting up a kennel and keep dogs and breed them and sell the puppies also um why the dog drop shipping is for those who don't necessarily uh, need a dog around them or in their house or have a kennel they don't want to have a kennel they don't have the space they don't have the, the system to sustain having a kennel they don't have the system to sustain having a dog all right they don't have the capacity or or the requirement to keep a dog at home okay they don't want to go through that huddle and um, keeping a dog so they just want to drop ship from the comfort of their homes with their phone and just an internet connection is all you need to drop ship dogs you don't need to move out of your house you don't necessarily need to do anything okay then you start making 500k 300k 200k depending monthly from the comfort of your home so once more i say a big congratulations to you guys for chipping in into this course so let's dive in welcome guys to the first basic model of this business course okay so we're going to start by talking about what is drop shipping all right what is drop shipping Okay, dropshipping means selling a product gotten from a seller to a buyer through an agent. Dropshipping drop shipping means um, linking a buyer and a seller. A buyer wants to buy uh, a book and you know where the buyer can purchase that book. So all you need to do is to um, tell, the, tell the buyer that you, you, you have the book. Maybe you have um, 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 the pictures um, and all that and you show it to the person 
and the the buyer pays you the money for the book then you pay the seller his dividend or his quotient okay taking part of the profit or taking your profit then and paying the seller for the book and this, then you give the address of the buyer to the seller then the seller sends the book to the buyer okay so you don't have to see the book you don't have to see the buyer you don't have to see the seller all these are done online dropshipping simply means linking two persons a buyer and a seller okay linking a buyer who needs a product and linking him to uh, a seller who has the product while you take your profit for linking the both of them okay for another example is um maybe i drop ship car cars uh, or i drop ship um dogs in this case and um I know someone who wants a Rottweiler dog, and I, I contact and, 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 and the person reach, reaches out to me that he wants a dog, okay, because I sell dog or I drop ship dogs, and 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 I get the money. The person pays me for the dog, okay. Maybe the seller sells the dog for forty thousand naira, and um, I sold it to the seller for sixty thousand naira, eighty thousand naira. So by the time the person pays me the for the eighty thousand naira, for instance. I will pay the 40,000 naira, which is the original price of the dog, to the seller. Then tell the seller to send that dog to the address of the buyer, thereby keeping my profit for linking the both of them. So that is just drop shipping. You don't have to see the dog, you don't have to see the buyer, you don't have to see the seller. Okay, so now requirements for drop shipping you need a source of product, you need a seller, you need someone you can always reach out to get that product you are actually marketing for. Also, you need a selling platform what platform do you use to sell your product it could be youtube it could be facebook it could be whatsapp linkedin you know TikTok, and what have you even twitter okay so you have to have a platform where you sell because when you drop ship most of drop shipping um, um, um activities are done online okay you just be with your phone or be on whatsapp or be on your facebook and sell and drop ship without even stepping out of your house okay totally you need a customer base you need a buyer Okay, you can't do drop shipping without having a buyer. The idea of drop shipping is, is to actually serve um, buyers, okay? Get products for buyers, okay? Okay, fourthly, you need an agent or a transport logistics, okay? Okay, if if you want to drop ship, you need someone or you need to take care of the transport logistics. You need to make sure that there is a transport logistic in place that will get that product from the seller to the buyer, okay? You can either activate that yourself or the seller activate that okay if the seller does not have uh, a system that transports or, or that handles the transport logistic okay you can actually get that there are um, um agent transport agents all around the country you can actually get in touch with the transport agent and get him to drop ship your dogs from the seller to the buyer so it's as simple as that now dog drop shipping the requirement is basically the same thing you need the, a breeder's contact now you need to have a contact of someone who breeds dog who you know actually have um, puppies for sale and uh, steady puppies for sale um, consistently okay you also need the same the same platform like Facebook like WhatsApp like Instagram and what have you and you also need a buyer okay as a bonus as promised I will give you contacts of those you can get any number of dogs any breed of dogs you want anytime any day okay you can get from me you can get from the other contacts i will share with you all right you also need a buyer you also need a platform all right now how do you make money from dog breeding business how do you make money from dog breeding business there are about three ways to make money from dog and breeding business basically uh, four but the fourth one is actually not for everybody. I will tell you why. Now, the first way to make money from dog breeding business is actually owning a dog. There's, there's what we call um, the stud service. Now, the stud service is when is a service offered by people, by dog breeders who have male dogs that are mature, sexually mature to mate. Now, there are people who have female dogs, maybe a female Rottweiler and the owner of the dog is looking for a male rottweiler to cross or meet or breed with that dog so he'll go find a, a a male rottweiler owner to offer that stud service and the cost of offering a stud a stud service is about 20k 30k 40k depending on the on the on the on the pureness of the breed 
if I have a male Rottweiler and I want to offer a start service to someone who has a female Rottweiler, I will charge the person 20k plus a puppy, 30k plus a puppy or 40k without a puppy. When I mean 20k plus puppy, it, it, I, I mean it means that after the mating is done, after the mating is done, the person pays me 20k. Then after the, the, the person's female dog delivers, the person will still give me one puppy for free. That is how store service work. Or the person pays me 40,000 naira now and I will not be giving any puppy when the puppy is coming. So you can actually make money from store service alone. You can just have a male dog and you keep servicing female dogs around your area and be making money. If you are able to service 10 dogs in a month, 10 female dogs in a month, you are making 200,000 naira already. 200,000 naira already. You are making 200,000 naira. If you have a very good pure breed, you'll be making close to 400,000 naira monthly. Are you getting me? This is real business, guys. This is real legit business. I want you guys to jump on this. Okay? Now, the second um, aspect of how you can make money from dog um, breeding business is um, selling puppies, selling of puppies. Okay, you might want to keep female, female dogs. So that when the female dog delivers, when she when it parturates, at the end, uh, 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 when it parturates, you sell the the puppies. Now, if a Rottweiler gives birth to like ten puppies, after four weeks, after winning those dogs, after six weeks, after winning those dogs, you can sell those dogs for sixty thousand naira each and make six hundred thousand naira. If you sell them in one month, you are making 600,000 Naira in one month. 600,000 Naira in one month from just one delivery. And dogs give birth um, every two, two months, thereabouts. Okay, every two, two months, thereabouts. 62 days, 65 days, thereabouts. All right, every two, two months, thereabouts. Okay, then whenever the dog comes on it again, you make the dog. And when the dog gives birth to puppies, you sell it for maybe 40,000 Naira each. 50,000 naira each, 60,000 naira each, 70, 80,000 naira each. If you have a good breed, a pure breed, you can make, you can sell the puppies for 80,000 naira and you, you'll be making 800,000 naira from 10 puppies in a month. In a month. In a month. Some dogs give it 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, depending. Okay? Thirdly, thirdly, guys, the third way to make money from the dog breeding business. Is to sell dog feed and accessories now there are a lot and lot and lot of people keeping dogs in the society today a lot of persons and you can testify that a lot of persons um, 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 are keeping dogs at the moment you can't pass up to five houses without hearing the sound of a dog bark okay you can't pass up to five houses without hearing this the, the back of the dog because people are actually careful and uh, keen in into their security so people get dogs to keep them secure okay and now these dogs need to eat these dogs need to eat and these dogs need to have li uh, uh, um, um, leashes and all that okay dog chain dog leash you know dog comb you know dog perfume dog soap um dog spray and um, a lot of dog brush a lot of dog accessories okay even dog cages you can start selling that and start making money through the platforms you are selling on through whatsapp through Facebook through Instagram okay you can also start marketing dog feed and start making cool money all right now the million dollar strategy on how to to make money from the dog breeding business okay the million dollar strategy on how to make money from the dog breeding business all right now the first thing you want to do, as I said, is to get the get get the contact of breeders. Once you've get the contact of once you've gotten the contact of breeders, right, which I will give to you. The first thing you need to do is to chat them up and tell them that you want to start dropshipping dogs. You want to start dropshipping dogs, okay, and you want to inform them that. You'll be needing dogs anytime soon. Secondly, go open up a page on Facebook. Open up a page on Facebook and start um, 
um, you you get pictures and videos from those breeders you ask them if they have any dog to sell at the moment you get the pictures you get the videos and you post them on Facebook consistently post them on whatsapp consistently consistently follow those breeders on whatsapp follow their whatsapp status follow their Facebook stories and Facebook timeline get those pictures from them get those videos from them copy them and paste it on your Facebook page and start selling you can also totally you can also run ads run ads and attract people to actually like and follow you follow your page with that you start building traction you start building um following then with time you start getting um um, um you start getting um inquiries and you start making sales then once you 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 get your first customer who wants to really buy what you need to do is to get the location of that customer the required dog breed um age sex everything then you contact the breeder and tell the breeder to make available this puppy negotiate the price negotiate the price if the breeder sells it for fifty thousand naira, you can sell it to the to the buyer for seventy thousand naira, eighty thousand naira, ninety thousand naira, hundred thousand naira, depending on how much you want to charge okay you can charge up to that then once the buyer pays you the money you give the breeder his share and tell the breeder to send the dog to the to the address provided okay then the buyer gets his dog and thanks you for it now you will not see the buyer neither will you see the dog neither will you see the breeder but there is money in your pocket that is dog drop shipping that is the million dollar strategy and in the next model in the next model i'm going to show you really how to how to source for dogs where to source for those dogs and how to get cheap dogs also okay so that is this is the end of this model let's go to the next how to make 100k monthly from selling dogs you do not own from selling dogs without owning a kennel okay now how is that even possible you don't have dogs you don't keep dogs but you sell dogs and you make cool cash out of it i'm going to be exposing how you'll be able to achieve that how you able to achieve 100k monthly doing this selling dogs without owning a canal okay now note the following you don't need a canal number one you don't need to know much about dogs definitely you don't need to to spend much money you don't need to spend actually you don't need to spend anything at all to do this business just your data and just your phone and you are good to go okay now the business principle behind this is that you stand as a middleman between the seller and the buyer then you add your commission okay take for instance um, someone who breeds dog um, probably he has a German Shepherd and the German Shepherd um, um, put to bed and it gave birth to like seven puppies now you already know someone who has a German Shepherd and who has seven puppies to sell and then all you need to do is to go look for is is, is to go look for a buyer who needs a German Shepherd puppy. Then you 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 tell this you tell the buyer that that you have a German Shepherd um, puppy for sale. Now the seller told you that the puppy sells for for forty k for instance. So what you need to do is to give the buyer the any price. You, any price or, or sell the dog to the buyer at any price you want to you can sell the dog for 50k 60k 70k with 30,000 naira profit or 20,000 naira profit or even 10,000 naira profit okay you can sell the dog with 50,000 naira profit so if you are if you can be able to sell um 10 dogs in a month with 20 20k profit each you'll be making 200k every month if you're able to sell the dog with 10k profit each so if you're able to sell 20 dogs with 10k profit each you'll be making um if you're able to sell sorry if you're able to sell um 10 dogs with 10k profit each you'll be making 100k monthly okay so this is how you make money from selling dogs so just be a middleman between a buyer and a seller okay now what you need to do this business is number one you need to know a dog you need to know a dog breeder you need to have the contact of a dog breeder okay so that when the 
dog breeder has puppies when the dog breeder has puppies the dog breeder will contact you or you will contact the dog breeder to ask if he has if he has puppies for sale then when the dog breeder has puppies for sale you will help market those puppies on your um, online platform which is the number three year you help market those puppies on your online platform so that a buyer can be able to see your your advert and contact you so once a buyer sees a dog you post on your um, online platform you 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 come into an agreement with the buyer then you link the buyer and the seller so this is what you do so if the the the, the breeder sells the dog for forty thousand naira and you are selling the dog to the buyer for sixty thousand naira and after the both of you have agreed then the buyer pays the money into your account then you remit forty thousand naira to the seller then you send the address of the buyer to the seller then the seller sends the dog down to the location or the address of the buyer now you are not seeing the buyer probably you're not seeing the buyer of course you're not seeing the seller neither are you seeing the dog so you are you are just in your room with your phone with the internet and the pictures of the dog all you just need to do is to get the buyer to buy the dog you've posted online then you send the address of the buyer to the seller to the breeder and the breeder sell sends the dog to the seller and you take in your own commission maybe 20k profit the dog was sold for 40k but you sold it to this to the buyer for 60k now you've made 20,000 naira. sell to 10 persons in a month and you'll be making 200k for that month sell to 40 to 20 percent you're making 400 thousand naira without owning a dog without seeing the dog without seeing the seller this is cool business this is real time cash out okay so this is as simple as abc it's as simple as abc now there are some dog breeds that people go after people go for there are some popular dog breeds that people go for and these are the least you need to pay attention to please do not sell local dogs local dogs one they call eco k it does not sell okay focus on dog breeds like the german Schaefer, the boabo the american eskimo the lassa Absus, and the Caucasian. all right now there are some platforms where you can find breeders where you can find sellers platforms like gg like facebook like instagram whatsapp even on youtube okay and offline all right but then let's um let's let me show you how these dogs look like okay now this is a bubble this is how your bubble looks like okay this is how your bubble looks like okay you can type bubble cost in nigeria in nigeria cost in Nigeria so this GG let's go to GG and see how much you can um, get a probable puppy right okay so this person is selling a three to six months old pure pre probable for 90 thousand naira okay so this is selling for 95 these are puppies this is selling for 120 this is selling for 90 so this is what you would do so these are different breeds you see american eskimo 607 ads wabo 802 caucasian shepherd 632 lassa absence you see those things i listed look at they are the most sought after dogs right here they are the most sought after dogs right here okay but you can look for dogs that are below 35k this is a strategy you need to use dogs below 35k bubble below 35k now this is a lasso absence is for 35,000 naira. okay now you can contact this seller this one goes for 28,000 naira. now this is a chow chow this is very very cheap this is very 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 cheap you can contact this seller Mm -hmm. you can contact the seller 
then you request for the pictures and also request for the videos then you post it on your own personal platform and increase the price you can sell it for 50k you can sell it for 60k then once you get a buyer then once you get a buyer if you trust if if you trust the seller if you trust the seller you can send the money to the seller or or strike a deal with the seller find a way to get the dog down before paying or you can pay if you trust the seller or if the seller is in your location if the seller is in your location you can go look at the dog you know or go get the dog pay for the dog get it and we beat the dog to this to the buyer or you can pay the money and ask the seller to wait the dog to the to the address provided all right that is one way you can make money okay gg is one of the places where you can actually find cheap dogs this is for 25k this is caucasian shepherd for 25,000. i mean you can't get it this cheap you can sell it for 50k you can sell it for 60k all right that is that for that okay let's look at american eskimo This one sells for thirty thousand naira. This one fair sells for twenty thousand naira. You can sell it for. You can sell it. This one sells for twenty thousand naira. Recently, I linked up two person, a, a buyer and a seller, and I sold that dog for. That dog was sold for forty thousand naira. This same video was sold for forty thousand naira. It was sold for forty thousand naira. Okay. So this is how you can make money. You can buy this dog off this person. This person lives in Adoe Kitty and is selling for twenty thousand naira. If you can locate, if you are in the same location, you can go pick up the dog, pay for the dog, and or and sell it to the person who needs it immediately. Please do not purchase the dog until you found a buyer. Once you found a buyer for this dog, you get the money, buy off this dog, or pay into the account of this seller if you trust the seller or if you can locate the seller. Then the seller will be used the dog to the location of the buyer and you keep your profit of 20,000 naira. That is how to do business, okay? That is how to do this business. So do not sleep on this, guys. This is big time. This is big time cash out. Do not sleep on this, okay? Do not sleep on this. You can check out other breeds. You can check out other breeds. There are a lot of them. Let's check out um, Pitbull, um, German Shepherd. Let's check out German Shepherd. Now, there are important things you need to send to a buyer whenever you are selling dogs. First of all, if you are going to buy this dog, this German Shepherd dog of this um, seller or breeder, ask for the breeding video. Ask for the video that, that shows the evidence that a male and female German Shepherd produce these puppies. So the, the breeder is going to provide you with that video, he's going to provide you with their pictures, he's going to provide you with the pictures and video of the puppies too and all of them together these are proofs that um the puppies are real are real offspring of the presumed german shepherd also the buyer the seller is going to provide you with the vaccination history of the dog or the vaccination card of the dog okay these are things you require these are things you should require from the buyer before um procuring the dogs okay do not procure a dog from a buyer from a seller that do not have the breeding video all right do not procure a dog from the seller that do, that do not have the breeding video so this is just how you go research for cheap dogs online you can check rottweiler i forgot to add rottweiler very important rottweiler is also one of the popular um, breed of dogs we have in nigeria okay this one sells for thirty thousand naira. it's one year old so you can request for the pictures and the videos of this dog post it on your own platform increase the price to maybe 50k or 60k once you find a buyer you then would connect both of them after you've taken your own profit okay that is how to do it that is how to do it guys do not sleep on this guys that is how to do it so where do you sell you sell on you can still sell on Gigi. you can sell on facebook you can go to facebook marketplace and 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 display your your dogs you can sell on instagram on whatsapp on your whatsapp status even on youtube or you sell offline you just tell people that hey i have puppies for sale anyone you want german shepherd you show them the pictures and they may decide to buy so guys 
thank you for listening please take action welcome to the advanced model of this business course okay the first thing we're going to be talking about is kenneling for those who want to keep dogs at home for those who want to have a kennel so that they can keep and raise the dogs by themselves okay this model especially is for you all right now the first thing you need to do is to um, go get a cage now but then be, you, you need to decide do you want to keep the dog in your house or in your compound you know within the compound or in the house or in the room okay irrespective you still need to get a cage there are a lot of cages on gg you can get a cage for as well as 20,000 naira 40,000 naira 30,000 naira okay depending on the size of the dog depending on the quality and uh, strength of the cage you need okay so that is that for that The next thing we're going to be talking about is um, the dog medication, the basic dog medication. Now, the first thing you need, the first medication a dog needs is um, the first vaccination is a DHLPP, okay, at six weeks. Once your dog is six weeks of age, once you win your dog from the mother, the next thing you need to consider, the next thing that will be on your checklist is vaccination, okay. You need to take the dog to a vet and ask the dog, ask the vet to vaccinate your dog. For DHLPP against DHLPP, all right. This DHLPP means uh, um, five different diseases. The D stands for canine distemper. The H is hepatitis. The L is, is leptospirosis. The P is papaviral enteritis, and the last P is para influenza. Okay. Now, once you vaccinate your dog for DHLPP, you are you are preventing the dog from contacting these five terrible diseases that could take the life of your dog in few days. All right. But you need to do that once your dog turns. Um, six weeks of age okay then the dog we need to take three shots uh, uh, and the first shot will be at six weeks the second shot will be two weeks after the first shot and the third shot will be one month after the second shot making it six um, short shots all right so the next thing is the warming you need to deworm your dog as soon as your dog um, is weaned you need to start deworming your dogs okay for worms um, take it to a vet also your vet will take care of that then the last thing is the appetite appetite boosters all right the dog needs to you need to help improve the appetite of the dog there are vitamins um tablet vitamin tablets and some injectables you can actually give to your dogs okay so when you take it to a vet you ask for um um b co b complex injections and the cyanocobalamin and thereabout all right so your vet to take care of all of that for you now the next thing on our list is the nutrition now an ideal crude protein a dog needs is about 18 to 22 percent all right but the younger ones the younger puppies need higher crude protein than the adults so when your dog is young when is an when is a puppy you look for crude protein that is about 22 percent 25 percent okay when you're looking out for dog feed look for feed with high crude protein all right now i think the booster dog feed has about 30 percent crude protein thereabout and all that then the fat requirement should be about nine percent eight to nine percent it is okay okay but if you want to if you are bent on formulating your own feed locally then you can use this formula and get your dog feed compounded okay you source this materials take it to a, um, a, a milling um, or, or com feed compounding um, center and they will put it together for you just show them this formula they'll put it together for you all right your millet should be about 29 percent 29.5 your soya meal soya bean should be about 11.1 um your granite should be fried should be about um 25.2 and your uh, fish meal should be about for 4.8 percent and the probability should be about 1.25 okay and your guinea corn should be about 29.5 okay if you put this all together it should be summing up to 100 percent all right now the next thing we want to look at is the mating what is mating mating simply means a male and female dog breeding you know mating to produce to reproduce offspring all right now when do you mate when to mate a dog your dog should be mature after averagely on an average after a year after one year your dog should be mature okay for mating okay but then how do you then check the heat period heat period is heat period means that your dog is ready to mate all right it's ready to be receptive to them to the male dog to mate all right but then how do you check the heat period of your dog 
how do you check the heat period of your dog you 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 will notice um the vulva um the vulva that at the back end will be swollen you know reddish and it will be dripping blood especially it will be dripping blood if you don't notice the blood because sometimes they lick it up you can put up a whitish um clothing clothing in the in the cage or the canal in the cage of the dog and whenever you see that the the, the cloth is stained just know that your dog has come on heat okay know that your dog has come on it dog usually come on heat averagely two times a year three times a year two to three times a year depending on the breed okay two to three times a year they usually come on heat all right and and then you have to start considering um um and where to go take it for a stop service okay you need to go find someone who has a male dog of the same breed that you can you can negotiate with um, um come into an agreement the amount you pay for 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 the mating and all that okay so that the male dog can meet your female dog so that she can start producing offsprings okay but what do you need to do before you mate you need to take your dog to the to the vet so that your dog can be treated given the treatment we call treatment before mating okay there's a treatment you give to your dog before you meet them the vet knows all about that so take it to your vet your vet will take care of that okay now the next thing is what to do after mating now also before you meet make sure you go to a certified um, 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 stud service provider so that the certified stud service provider is someone whose dog is certified whose dog is healthy okay so that the dog does not give your dog any any diseases okay any sexual transmitted diseases all right because there's no condom there's no protection all right in um, in the in when your dogs are, are mating per se okay so to, so that your dog does not get infected in any way all right now the next thing on our list is what to do after mating now once you've mated your dog before we go there once you notice that your dog um, is on heat once you notice the blood stain and all that you then count nine days from that time nine days from that moment nine days from that day that is the, the on the ninth day after you first notice that is when you take your dog for mating but the mating will be done three times so after the ninth day you take your dog for mating that's the first time then two days later the, on the eleventh day you take your dog for the second mating and on the thirteenth day two days later also you take your, your, your dog for the third mating all right now now what to do after mating after mating some dogs experience miscarriage and abortion or abortion okay and this is due to the fact that some dogs are energetic and too um they, they engage into rigorous activities they, they jump all the time when they're pregnant and it, it can lead to abortion all right so to prevent your dog from aborting restrict its movement by buying the leg chain most people use leg chains whenever they make whenever the dog takes in they use the leg chain to prevent the dog from moving all about freely you know some people just keep the dog in the cage and feed it well all right so you can do all of that all right now what to do uh, what to do during and after delivery during delivery some dogs especially the first time as we need help to clean up the baby they may not know how to clean up the babies and they may not know that the babies need to be breastfed after delivery on and all that they may just neglect it and walk away so you need to help you need to help teach the dog if the dog doesn't want to breastfeed the puppies you need you put the puppies on her nipples and they will breastfeed with them she will accept them okay if she has not cleaned up anyone after she delivered it you can put the puppy upside down and shake it until you know water comes out of the nose and the dog starts and um, the puppy start breathing and moving around okay you can help just help be around the the, 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 the dog when she's delivering to just help her she might not be experienced and she might not know what to do just help her so that she can and um, 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 deliver successfully all right now when the puppies are, are, are delivered put them in a warm place make sure the mom and the puppies are warm and not cold and the place is not cold the place is not heated up okay just warm and just warm all right so that is it now there are some diseases you need to prevent your dog from having these diseases are deadly like they can kill your dogs in days they can kill your dogs in weeks and one of them is papavirus enteritis this papavirus enteritis and the canine distemper was what you were vaccinating for at six weeks okay I told you here that the D represent canine distemper and the P here represent papavirus enteritis. So that was what you were vaccinating for at six weeks. So if you vaccinate your dog at six weeks, you complete the three shot dose, your dogs won't come down with this any of these um, diseases, either papavirus enteritis or canine distemper. 
So, alright, then another one is trypanosomiasis. Okay, so if you notice your dog is not eating, please take the dog to the vet. Do not wait until your dog is emaciated, do not wait until your dog is almost looking like, uh, like, like dead before you take it to the vet. Once your dog stops eating, morning, afternoon, or even night, take it to a vet the next day immediately. Okay complain so they will start immediate treatment this will help um, boost the chances of the dog um, to, to survive it will help boost what the prognosis all right now the next on our list is miasis now miasis is um, a disease condi a condition that happens in um, puppies especially when you allow your puppies to play in muddy areas or water or around water bodies they get wet and once they get wet miasis flies you know who like who loves to lay their eggs on water bodies will end up laying their eggs on the on the on the bodies of the puppies because it's wet okay on the bodies of the puppies and once those egg hatches they turn into maggots which will dig deep into the skin and keep digging and burrowing it and it will not lead to boil and all that okay so once you notice such things on the on the on the, on the body of your puppy please take it to a vet because the dog will not be uh, the dog will be looking haggard and unkept to be eaten well probably but it will, it will not be adding much weight because there are worms maggots all over the body eating and making it uncomfortable so take it to a vet and they will solve that within days all right now the last but not the least is the tick infestation once you notice that your dog starts itching please take it to a vet do not waste time take it to a vet get the chemical for chemical baiting or you take it to a vet for injectable um, um administration injection administration okay so that is the end we've come to the end of this course guys i hope you had a swell time okay i want you guys to put this into practice please do not sleep on any of this information this is value this course is value packed is richly packed okay i want you to put to practice what you've learned if you have any question please feel free to contact me feel free to contact me and ask me your questions okay and as i promise i said we have we can buy off your dogs we can source for you customers for the first three months okay so whenever you have puppies to sell contact me reach out to me also i also promise to provide to, to you um contact of people who you can supply dogs to and also sell dogs to all right so these are the available contact verified contact they can you are um, i can i can I, I can vouch for this person you can send send your money to them and they will not scam you okay they will not scam if any of them scam you please hold me responsible come come and come come to my dm and i will get your money back okay but they won't they won't scam you all right they are verified um veterinary doctors and um, dog breeders okay so thank you guys thank you guys this is the end of the course thank you for listening and god bless